So um, here it is told that bag one contains three. So we have got two bags. One is bag one and one is bag two. So bag one contains three red balls and four black balls. And bag two contains four red balls and five black balls. One ball is transferred from, from bag one to bag two. One ball is transferred from bag one to bag two. And then a ball is drawn from the bag two. The ball so drawn is found to be red in color. Red ball is drawn from bag two. So after that, find the probability that the transferred ball is black. So we have to find the probability that the transferred ball is black. The transferred, transferred ball is black. Given that the ball drawn from bag 2 is red. The ball drawn from bag 2 is red. Okay. So, here also actually we have to apply the base theorem. But first of all, we need to define some events. So, let us define some events. Let us define some events. So, let's say the event E1 is defined as that the transferred ball transferred ball is red and E2 be the event that the transferred ball transferred ball means the ball which is transferred from bag 1 to bag 2 so E2 is what the transferred ball is black the transferred ball is black Okay, so, so now, uh, and let A be the event that the ball drawn from bag 2 is red. The ball drawn from bag 2 is red. So, here, first we have to find the probability of E1 means the probability that the transferred ball is red. So here we need, uh, so there are three red balls in bag one by there are seven balls in bag one. So it will be three by seven. And similarly, the probability of E2 means the probability that the transferred ball from bag one is black. So there are four black balls out of seven balls in bag one. So it will be four by seven. And similarly, the probability that the ball drawn is red, given that the transferred ball is also red. So that would be what? So if red ball, so here actually that, the so here, this we can suppose take it as case one. So when suppose red ball is transferred from bag one to bag two, then in bag two, now there will be five red balls and five black balls. So now the, so now we have to choose the red ball by five by 10. Okay. so the probability of choosing five uh, choosing a red ball out of these 10 balls so it will be 5 by 10 since now there are five red balls in the bag 2 when red ball will be transferred from bag 1 to bag 2 similarly the probability of drawing the red ball from bag 2 given that black ball is drawn uh, means bag black ball is transfer from bag 1 to bag 2. So that we can suppose take it as case 2. So here black ball is transferred. 
from bag one to bag two. So now in bag two, now we will have four red balls and six black balls. So out of these 10 balls, there are four red balls. So therefore, the probability of choosing the red ball from bag two, now this will be four by 10. So this will be 0 0.4 and this will be 0 0.5 or we can tell one by two also. <clears throat> Uh, we can tell it 1 by 2 and this we can tell it as 2 by 5 also. Okay, so therefore now here we have to find now we need to find what? We need to find the probability that the transferred ball is black means P of E2 given that the ball drawn is red. It means P of E2 given A. So here we have to apply the base theorem. So here we will do P of E2 times P of A given E2 divided by P of E2 times P of A given E2 plus P of E1 times P of A given E1. Okay. So, therefore, the probability of E2 given A, so that will be uh, P of E2 given P of A given E2. And this will be, uh, yeah, P of E2 into P of A given E2 plus P of E1 times P of A given E1. So, this value is... P of E2 is 4 by 7. So this will be 4 by 7 into P of A given E2 that is 2 by 5 divided by this will be 4 by 7 into 2 by 5 plus P of E1 that is 3 by 7 and P of A given E1 that is 1 by 2. So here we can see that it will come 8 by 35 divided by 8 by 35 plus 3 by 21. No, sorry, this is 14. So this will be 8 by 35 divided by here. If you take the LCM, this will be um, 70 and 14 fives are 70. So 5 threes are 15 plus 35 twos are 70. So 2 into 16. So this will be 8 by 35 into 70 by 16 plus 15, that is 31. So 35 twos are 70. So this will be 16 by 31. So this is the final answer. Thank you.